Hello everyone and welcome for this video tutorial on how to use the Analytics 2 module, Python module for um, Adobe Analytics API. So this video is an update regarding the uh, usage of this module because I changed the method how to get access to the get company ID method in order to retrieve your company ID. So um, starting the version 0.2 zero um, I have uh, added this logging class that you can use and you should use for the future of this module so right now the old and legacy method are still working on your uh, uh, implementation but uh, at some point in the future it will break because I will stop supporting those methods uh, they are harder to debug and harder to maintain and I don't prove to have a very high uh, flexibility so to, uh, for a reminder, you can always update and you should update to get more uh, of this uh, module because I add more and more uh, endpoints over time as it comes or are they coming uh, from this uh, uh, Adobe Analytics API. So you can do pipe install analytics to upgrade and that I should be already satisfied for everything. So uh, you see already satisfied, already satisfied, but uh, for you, you may want to update this version. So uh, the start of the usage of that module is uh, quite the same. You import it. Actually, let me refresh that. Let's do a restart. And uh, now I'm importing and this is the number one. Then I can look at the version and I will demo this version with a 0.2.4. Uh, you can always go to my GitHub to see uh, the different elements that have changed between uh, each of those released. Uh, you can look here on the release note and you have all of the release, uh, release uh, elements that have been done over time. And um, then the create config file and import config file still work. Since the last time I'm actually uh, demo that I added probably and I didn't demo that this configure method and this configure method is exactly uh, the same than the import config file. I mean, you can do one or the other, but by this one, you can actually pass all of those different elements that you have in your JSON directly as a parameters. There is another option, which is the host option. Uh, usually when you are doing a host, uh, you retrieve your token already and you have your org ID and your client ID so you pass those information uh, and set the host to true and then it will work the same way as if you were importing the config uh, file or the configure method with the other elements uh, those uh, yeah this is a different way than GWT I don't think it's a very um, useful way when you're using Python in a modern application because uh, it's uh, need you to actually retrieve the token by hand but some people may not have the choice to use that so uh, here is the way to, to do it then uh, the old method as i say will still work for some time so the uh, here i'm directly calling the module and get company id and here i can retrieve the token but that will not be the case in the future i won't push them what you should do is to actually instantiate this login class and what this login class does, it will create a company ID attribute that you need to uh, request. And let me know if you want to automatically retrieve that. Uh, I can actually make it automatic. But when you are actually doing that, you have nothing. And when I'm actually retrieving the company ID, now you have the company ID has been saved here in this attribute or the different company's ID depending uh, on your uh, instances of Adobe Analytics. Um, therefore, you don't need to actually save this into a new variable or do anything with this. It's already there and you can use this. Uh, in order to retrieve the token, now you can directly uh, go to the config and you can see that I have my token here available and you can uh, always reuse that. Uh, and you can see uh, for how long this element is, uh, this token is valid. So you see that it's uh, valid. Uh, we had the uh, 14th. Uh, it's valid until the 15th 
of February. Uh, the rest of the demo that have already been uploaded to YouTube is the same. So you retrieve your CID at some point in here, and then you launch the analytics. Uh, and then you can actually, the same way, uh, retrieve the different token information that you want. Uh, you can retrieve your uh, header, and you can obviously uh, get your report suite and everything like this. In that case, just my report suite, my uh, different element that I want to show. So from now on, you can go or you can still look at the old videos that I was explaining all the different methods available. There is even more methods available. Now you can see that I retrieved, I added the um, uh, the user log. I added some uh, get visual reports with information and so, and so on. So more things have come since the videos and obviously I'm not referring every time. Normally what I do is actually I uh, get to here update this element so you can see what is possible from this API or you can actually go here and I think here you will have all of the method uh, available so get metrics, get user, get date range and so forth so obviously the best is to read the documentation and uh, otherwise uh, raise a GitHub issue. So uh, have a great time now with this module and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.